Yes, GC here, and we're back for this before and after of Pro Mare, Pro Mar, Ray. I can't pronounce. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so this is the fourth showing at the Rio now, and Cineplex had a few showings, and we're an hour early, and the line is already already over here already. So it's that's pretty far. So it's like a film festival vibe. But anyways, yeah, looking forward to this. Pretty crazy action and uh, visuals. Uh, director and creator of uh, Kill Kill and Grin Lagan, Lagon, and uh, Trigger Studios. But anyway, so excited, hyped, and uh, let's get this. And uh, that's it, uh, this is before, and this is after. Holy crap, it's raining. But anyways, holy crap, this movie! Holy smokes, like, do yourself a favor and watch Gurren Lagann, Kill Kill. Before you see this, and you appreciate like all the subtle homages, 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 homages. But holy crap, like, watching this makes me want to go back and watch Kill a Kill again. Because, I mean, it's like, they step it up every time. Grun Lagon, Lagan, and then Kill a Kill with the whole, like, announcement and posing and skills and moves, skill set. Like, wow. This was just wow. I mean, it's a simple story, but holy crap, Trigger Studio, you brought it home. Like, this... It's just this balance of 3D and 2D animation. And I have not seen a movie that made me feel like Mad Max in a long time. Like the first 20 minutes is so over the top. It's so extra, so everything. It's like exhilarating, like the visuals and just, just crazy. And I loved how it's very actually systematic. It's not just over the top like craziness. Like sort of like Lou over the wall where it just got pretty nuts and you're like, where is this coming from? But like them being a rescue team and being dispatched and then like how they do their movesets, it's like, oh, like, I guess it makes sense. But yeah, wow. And we got the return of Kamina. A joke, joke, joke. I'm actually surprised that Leo was a male. We got your androgynous male once again. Sort of actually wish, it's like always my wish is like when they have androgynous males that they're actually just females. But at least, I don't know, I think everyone cheered when they th did that one moment. Packed theater, wow, I mean like fourth screening at Rio and still so many people. Great, great stuff. Sort of really wish that Cineplex really advertised when they had Promare on as dub and sub. I don't know what you guys are doing over there, but you're dropping the ball on these like huge like, yeah, like four screenings. Two screenings at the Rio this weekend. No, I mean, this week and next week at Rio. So yeah, I I'm I, I guess it's like the sexuality stuff was kind of toned down. Well, there was one scene where they were in the professor's office and then the way they, they had it, it was like, oh, that's an homage to like, you know, showing implied nudity type of thing. I was like, okay. Oh man, just the homages to Gurren like Lagan and Kill It Kill's transformation and just the willpower, the soul fighting, all that stuff was great. And the character designs, I'm pretty sure he's the guy from Kill It Kill because a lot of the characters felt like they were from Kill It Kill. And even the character, yeah, the designs of Kill It Kill and like just the personalities. So I sort of wish that it didn't go so grand scheme so fast, where I wish there was more, a little bit more building of just personalities. Like the rescue team showed up and you're like introducing them left, right, left and right, but then like later on they're not really there. And then, um, yeah, I think that that's, that's the weaker link here is that the characters, but I mean really when you're going to watch a Trigger Studios, I mean, it's nice to expect some story, but I mean, first time coming around for a movie and it was fantastic in terms of visuals and it totally delivered. I mean, if you're going in this just to look at it and be amazed of what they're pulling off, like holy crap, like the animation was just great. So fluid, so 
imaginative and just taking advantage of the medium and also just the camera and the cinematography oh my god like you throwing that camera like that around is just super impressive and just makes things a little bit over the top where it's like holy crap i don't know what's going on but it's like it's just more like your brain can't catch up that's something that's happening visually like you can actually see it so i'm not talking about like hollywood let's fight in the dark and cut it so bad that you don't know who's fighting who but really this is more like let me just blow your mind with these fight sequences and yeah i'm so glad they brought in the mechs because that was fun and yeah i mean like wow if, if promare became like a tv series yeah okay seriously studio trigger trigger studios like i feel like you guys and madhouse like if you guys somehow pulled off like a one punch man film I, I definitely see it here where like the 3dness would lend itself well it, it was it would you know bring in more people that are not used to the one punch man series but i'm you know i'm digressing but seriously like when i was watching these fighting sequences i was just like holy smokes i can picture saitama doing all this stuff but anyways yeah i'm so glad i caught it i'm so glad it, it played here it, it, it aired in uh, Japan back in May, and uh, we're getting it now, friggin' six months later, which is a pretty, pretty good. I mean, usually it's like a year later or something. Or actually, no, maybe Lou Over the Wall and Walk On Girl happened in the same year, or maybe a year later. Anyways, I'm digressing again. But anyways, great, 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 great job, and yeah, keep stay in business. I wonder like how how Japanese studios stay in business versus other studios in america who like you know you know the the, the the people that did the sonic movie that did the lion king life of pi they're all, all of business like what else, what is up with that like so i do wonder how like the business model works in japan for these studios they're probably being worked to death all the time but anyways yeah promare awesome stuff fire fighter soul keep it up studio trigger and uh this amazing duo that worked on Lagan and uh, Kill Kill. Like seriously, like I have a flight coming up, and I'm like definitely tempted to just download Kill Kill and Lagan and just watch that for like how many hours? It's 50 episodes, I think. 20 minutes. I can't do math. But yeah, like 14 hours. Can I finish that? No, no. That's like 20. Maybe I can finish Kill Kill. But yeah, holy smokes! Like so glad. Full theater. Everyone cheering. Like even when Studio Trigger like. When they're doing the opening credits and, and they're showed up and it's like, yeah, yeah, so glad, so glad to see it. Thank you, Rio, once again for bringing these awesome, amazing films. And yeah, can't wait to check out what's coming next because it's gonna be a crazy to top this. And I don't really need them to top this. I just need more studio trigger stuff because because they're crazy and they're cool. Anyways, that's it. So. uh yeah, great, great cinematography, great animation, narration, narrative is, you know, pretty standard stuff, no out of, no, no really out of left field, uh, yeah, could have, could have been explored a bit more, but, you know, timeline, time of the essence, so yeah, great stuff, catch it if you can, seriously, watch this in a theater, because you're gonna lose out if you, you know, even, I guess, well, I don't know, buy it on 4K TV or something, when this is on Blu-ray or whatever, and have it on a 70 inch but seriously still it won't compare when you see it on a big screen and i really hope that they bring this back to theaters like release it again holy crap man just watching promare and then watching one piece stampede was just like oh so much feels like i'm connected to this stuff and it's just like damn it's done we move on so that's it this is the before and after of promare out